Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Your Partner of Salas for Menu and Texas 3.0 with me, Alpha Pi Omega, and the Osman with the birthday. So in the previous episode we have gained quite a lot of territory in the area of Zaneko, Zaneko and uh, Western Georgia and also in four Caucasus and we have thus unified our lands with our mainland and with the other provinces that we had here. Which for now means that we are pretty much done with the northern expansion. I don't really desire any more territory here, so we can just keep it as it is for now and look elsewhere. However, by looking elsewhere, we're gonna have to be a little bit, or with the looking elsewhere, we will have to be a little bit patient because we have a 60.6 over extension, which is crazy high. I mean, 32% administrative efficiency is really good, but still, offsetting this is really not great. Um, you can see that we're covering all of our provinces, but it's gonna take a while. So my suggestion for today is we deal with the rebels, we uh, make sure our stability goes up a little bit, we develop some more provinces, build some roads, and just let the time pass. After that, we have a couple of options that we could do. Uh, first of all, I would like to get, because we are annexing um, Hrebeljanovici, it's always hard to pronounce these for me, Hrebeljanovici, which will give us four more provinces, but those are, thank we're going to be corn. We can then look uh, back at Hungary and uh, do another expansion this way. There's a couple of things uh, that we could do. I wouldn't mind uh, getting Shrem and Usora for... Well, actually, that's for... No, that's for Vojnovich, okay? So we could get that for them. And we could get Banat and Samandria for Tsara Romaneska, which would pretty much mean that we have them expanding and leaving just a very small corridor for ourselves to pass through. But I don't mind, I really don't want this, you know, for now. Um, we could also uh, fight them to release Croatia, which is um, an option, of course, uh, as well. Or we could look at Achaea, uh, take Ioannina and vassalize the rest. We could also take some of these uh, territories from Venice. But I think it would be strategically a little bit uh, more prudent if we actually waited for the commercializations to spread a little bit more and then start uh, getting a territory that can push us over the 10%. Is it 10%? Yeah, 10% threshold. So I believe that if we took Crete and um, these provinces, this is part of... No, it's a separate one, Madonna. So if we took those and we, for example, expand... Well, there really isn't not many places to expand to, apart from Hungary. Um, I doubt that this would give us the necessary... Uh, amount so you know but the plan is still there we can eventually uh, you know it's gonna spread a little bit more and then we can deal with it but yeah taking a care and the territory from Venice would be another uh, way how we could expand because it would also cut them off from this area there where they are present but the issue with that is that uh, Venice has 63 ships some of those are gonna be heavy and we've already seen that we cannot match them. However, you know, this problem is only going to get worse as we're going to move forward. So, you know, that's not really an argument to ignore it. And last but not least, uh, we want to start expanding into the territory of Damascus. So that is going to be another uh, of our goals. Now, um, some of you asked me about Iran and Sirvan, uh, and I really do not feel any need to attack them or take some of their territory. They have been a valuable and a very good ally to us. Well, okay. No, not you. Interesting. Well, but for now, uh, definitely Sirvan is going to stay. We'll see with Iran. If they actually break the alliance, we might attack them and try to get something from them. But for now, that is a music of the future. Iran itself as well is fairly vast, but fairly weak when it comes to its army and um, abilities. Yeah, they have... They're already way behind us in all technology. Three levels is quite a difference. And when you look at their army size, they have only 11,000 men, while we have uh, triple that. Oh, either way, we've talked long enough. 
let's unpause the game and see what we can do here. Now, you guys are moving to the territory of the Dukaders, aren't you? Because we want to suppress that revolt. That was the thing that, yes. So we can provoke them now. And just kill them. We need to get rid of these. Uh, we have a huge amount of revolts potentially. And I would like to suppress them to make sure that uh, we are okay uh, in case of another expansion of, or war. Okay, we're doing pretty good then. That's a really wide. Well, actually, no, grass has minus 20%. <laughs> Interesting. But still, we're doing much better than they are. So let's just defeat them and be done with it. The shock phase should be the last one. Yeah, we got them. Okay, and Hungarian separatists, which are planning to raise where? In Belgrade. So you guys go there, and that's actually the only two revolts that are on Bulgarian separatists. Okay, I'm gonna deal with those together. And then we can send our armies back to drilling. Okay, so we're building a bastion in Kosovo and in Sirt. How are you guys? Sirt has a lowering autonomy. Oh! Our harbor was increased to trading harbor. Was that maybe the reason why we couldn't upgrade it? That I didn't notice that it was already upgrading? In a way that has a positive effect on your autonomy. I was actually checking before I started um, to record that our steps in this area are already bringing quite a lot of fruit. Because you can see Priazovia, well, I mean, barring Crimea and Kaffa and these ones, but Priazovia has an autonomy of 58%, Siversky Donetsk is 74 and it's dropping significantly. And same for Sarkel, Manich, Kuban. So we just need to make sure that these ones um, have more access, are properly cored. Same is going to happen with these. And we're just going to connect them um, to our ports with roads and we will be okay. So you're in the place where you're supposed to be. So let us provoke the Hungarians. And I don't have a leader, and we do, so it's gonna be quick. Okay, we're building a bastion in Kosovo. We have one over here, I believe, that this is the symbol for the bastion. Right. Yep, we have a bastion there. I actually noticed that we haven't upgraded the fort in our capital so i think we're gonna do that now again this is just for opoi reason but i feel like your capital should be well protected i mean that's not for opoi reason but even your cap capital should be <laughs> well protected okay so you're annexing you are working on that let's improve relations with our allies We can get rid of you and put you on unsubject countries. God knows that we have a lot of those. So it's good to keep them in line. Speaking of which, I think that they are doing pretty good. Um, yeah, we have four. They've grown quite in strength, honestly. Hmm. I'm gonna annex you, Winovici. Kinda surprised that you cannot take anything from hmm, from Croatia no actually you, ha you can take Bosnia uh, so would, would I need to declare war on you yeah I would have to okay but we could give you Bosnia uh, we could give you guys these and these ones to you I'm really happy with having like a northern march of this strength over there. Having few but very powerful vassals would go a long way for us in the area of future conquest. Because, you know, again, we get way more from them if, uh, as, as far as military goes, especially. 
if they are powerful and ruling over the territory because you know just think about how much autonomy we would have in these territories while they have you know pretty much suppressed it most mostly uh, uh, so you guys were supposed to raise where Schumann, okay, so you can raise in a number of areas. None of which are particularly great. Okay. Okay, so you are in a good spot. Okay, we can leave you to see Jumbo. I'm gonna move over there, deal with them first, and then I'm gonna go back and deal with you. 16, 13, and 10. I think we have what? Oh wow, we can actually make our army way stronger. So we could actually create full on two armies, because we've kept like separating our armies uh, during various stages, but now with 46 we could easily make two decent stronger armies. Okay, so Harebavirovici has just been annexed into our territory, giving us fine prestige and removing after a long, long while uh, the penalty for having too many relations. Nice. Okay, we also need to look more into the espionage ideas. I've been burning the diplomatic power like madman. Uh, so now let's put it where it belongs. So, okay, we have... Right, now come... Oh, wait, wait, we've gained troops here. Janissar Musketeers. Okay. So, we're gonna send you over here. Unite you with the army. Means we'll have 19, 13, and 10. So, there's an easy fix for that. One more of you and one more of you. And we'll have 20, 14, and 10. So 20 infantry regiments, 14 cavalry regiments, and 10 artillery regiments. That actually sounds like a pretty good deal. And as far as revolts go, we are doing good. So anything we can do with estates, I checked and there was... Ah, okay. So there is now a possibility to disown an unpopular relative, which, you know, I'm gonna do, that is well worth our time. Uh, still cannot perform a show of devotion, but we could make the church from subordinate to secular. It lowers their gravity, it lowers spirituality, it lowers autonomy from clergy, but give them more power from wealth, and they are furious. Everybody else is also mad. I don't think we can do anything when it comes to our current state. Yeah, we can. We don't have enough influence, so it would probably make sense to... Okay, state reach can be increased. I don't think that... Uh, direct bureaucracy. This is just House of State reach. And increases corruption. Which, believe it or not, is dropping, which is amazing. Anything we could do to help? Leverage the elites. This one wouldn't be all that bad, actually. Minus five state corruption that would put us pretty much to where we belong. Load corruption from elites. Increased relations with bureaucrats, but hard stability. Which I really don't think is that important. But eventually, you know, once we don't really know what we could do or should do, we can maybe look into it. Uh, okay, so let us be a little bit more de determined about this. Yambo... No. I really, because not only are we overextended, but also our religious unit is going to hell. 
we have 72%. So we really need to make sure we know what we're doing. Jesus Christ, we have so much heresy everywhere. Mm. Okay. How's Valbosh doing? Uh, I could go with the Uh No, it takes... No, let's actually do it. We need more stability. And we as hell need someone who can help with missionary power. Oh! Okay, we're starting to gain access to level 3 advisors. Can't really promote you, but I can get extra diplomatic reputation, diplomatic technology. Sure. He's 30, but that is actually really good. Mm. And no missionary. Getting 12. That's gonna work well for us in the long term because we want to finish those. Those um, espionage ideas. Okay, Vitiosa is almost converted. We're really not doing all that good. Okay, let's mobile all of the forts. Keep them on Constantinople raised. Okay, we got 42k of you. And you guys here. Okay, Tana has been taken and Annapa as well. So Tana is now our core. Not a very good port, not gonna lie. And not very good amenities either, not gonna lie there either. Important center of production. Tana could be easily converted though, you know, the unrest is gonna make it impossible for now. Hmm. Yeah, you definitely need a better port. And better amenity. Well, actually, they're about the limit of amenities. So if I wanted to. Where can I find you? Population. Here, build infrastructure. So, Harbridge, I think 120 gold. We'll be able to do that in just a couple of days. So, Ordui Anadolu is finished. And we can start drawing. This is a pretty decent army. I wish I could say the same thing for our ships, but I can't. Because we don't really have the means to support them. It's getting better. We were at 120 before, now we're at 157, but it's still nowhere oh, where it should be. So we we'll need to upgrade that significantly. I swear to God, we have such issues with naval production, but I understand it. I mean, it is balanced to push you away from, you know, building overwhelming fleets and just ruling the world, but I would have expected that with such a huge coastal line, we would be doing a little bit better. You guys have decent ports, don't you? No, nothing extremely well built. Okay, so we'll upgrade your port. Oh god. Amenities demoted back to... No, they're still at rank 3. And so is port. Sooner or later they will be able to hold it, so yeah. And we need that for the communication efficiency and lowered autonomy. Marcus here. 
Yeah, we're getting huge penalties from overextension to our stability. 25.4 is sure pretty bad. Still dropping over there. Expel the foreign traders. So what we really need to do is get the overextension down and then it's gonna fix itself pretty quickly. Okay, unrest. Pretty good in most places. A little bit of it in the north. And of course this area, the newly conquered, and also here for some reason. Oh, but it's barely anything. A small upgrade to the garrison could actually fix that. What is a rank fee? Okay, so you get two unrest lowered by uh, one level of garrison. Gotcha. It actually makes sense. Okay, and we wanted to build that port over there. 118. Okay, so it's constructed. Because you are connected to these provinces and will help us greatly with lowering of the local autonomy. What you give? She will be ecstatic. Hmm. Sovereign. Well, that's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. I don't think there is any more levels there, but there is higher conscription. Four of the following standing army leadership idea. Quantity, nationalism, institution, meritocratic bureaucracy, provincial matters to unsupport it, permanent production, peace consultation. Hmm. Looks like we should go down here, honestly, to make it better, because this one... Extra resident wealth expenditure on urban infrastructure, urban production, commerce production, Base consultation, burgers, powerful. Yeah? Okay, here we need to go lower. So we need executive authority or bureaucratic influence, which we do not have. Crucial restrictions. Sanctioned merchants. Commerce production. Go build the nest. So we would want this one to go up and this one to go down, basically. And the lowered one is commercial restrictions. Yeah, we definitely want more amigo, uh, amigo grounds. Let's gain prestige. It's gonna be better. A little bit of a treasury. Stability is still zero. How are we doing with the overextension? Okay, so Apshivati is almost done, Guria is almost done, and Odishi is almost done. So those are gonna help us quite significantly. So that's the good news. Merchants are doing okay. Greco separatists, Tana and Anapa. Why? Why would you do that? It's 
here somewhere, right? Those are our flux. Yeah, Tana and where is Anapa? Oh, here. It's the two small cities. We basically just murder their entire population and revolt. Okay, so let's get the loyalty. National civil war strength is lowered and liberty desire in subject is lowered. Again, this is not something that we want. You know, because of anything it gives, but we want it because we want the training, the informants, and the civilian involvement. And even the counter espionage doesn't actually work well. Loyalty. It may seem like a contradiction, but the most valuable characteristic of any agent in cover in covert mission is loyalty to their cause and to their master. So this is gonna hand down, um, yeah, let me lower the deliberate desire to almost nothing. Good. Good, good, good. And let's look um, at the territory we actually gained from uh, Harabavianovici, because we haven't really checked it much. So Sumadia, not much here. Ravna, not much here. Nisawa. Are we building the Bastion there, or did they build the Bastion there? And Rossina is pretty decent. It also has a silver. Decent garrison. And at least four for them. So Rossina and Nisav are pretty good. These ones are fairly small. So not much to be expected there, but... It's gonna also improve... Okay, you... I have level 2 roads, you have level 1 roads. Okay, so it's gonna improve the communication efficiency here because it's gonna make the troop so much faster. Though I don't really know if you can get through the territory of your vassals when it comes to communication efficiency. If so, then you basically change nothing in that regard. Okay, autonomy dropping here. Everywhere. Uh. On the main. There's still a non core and you're separatist, so. It's not exact. No, wait, you are a core! Okay, so you just don't have any roads or any connections, so. This era is completely outside of our reach. So, improving roads in Sarkel and in Dasht Ikipchak would be a good idea, though that's gonna be expensive as hell. Oh, really? You guys, you're not a core. Yeah, it's most of because they're not a core. There's so nothing we can really do with those two. But other than that, I feel like we're doing pretty good. Yeah, even the autonomy is looking pretty, pretty good. So did the stability start to improve or are we still facing... No, we're still facing penalties. Hmm. Here the government tab on the country view window. Uh, shortcut. Okay, so there's a lot of things here that we could read on. You know, tradition decay, these are a fax though. Okay, more provinces were next. Oh, so not an next chord. So that's gonna make a huge difference in its own. Yeah, overextension is down to 45.3%, which is very decent. I believe, yep, this is gonna get better very soon as well. How's the world doing? Actually, pretty good. There's nobody really. Yeah, can we see the venture? Are there any wars? Wait. I don't want to read this to not spoil it for myself, but. Great projects. Come on, income inflation charts. 
three nodes, map mode values, diff. Okay, here we see the current walls. Brunswick a conquest of Grosvar. So Paderborn versus everyone. Damascus? Damascus war for independence? Really? Okay, we're gonna check that one. Yeah, here I was saying that not much is happening. And they're actually finding the man moves for independence. We can celebrate their independence by vassalizing them. <laughs> what do you guys say? Like literally, if, um, if they get their independence, I'm gonna invade them and force them to vassalize and give us some territory. Because we can not really have worse relations with man moves than we have right now, so... It's not like we have anything to lose. But that is pretty cool. That is pretty darn cool. And blockading them. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, I'm gonna end the episode here and see you in the next one. So thank you for joining me and hopefully we're gonna do some conflict next time but it really depends on stabilizing our realm right now i feel a little bit iffy so we'll see